Welcome to the credential-based discovery video, or as we like to call it, deep scan. Now, deep scan is where we take as much information, grab as much information as we can from the device. Now we do this either with agent-based scanning or with active scanning, where we go out and fetch the information with credentials, obviously, because once we actually get to that point where we want to retrieve as much information as we can, we'll need credentials to access the devices. That means for Windows, you'll need something that has local administrative access, similar thing for Linux, where you'll need pseudo access. Or when you look at network devices, you'll need you know, the right SNMP credentials to access all the information that we're able to retrieve. Now, to actually show you the difference between what would be a basic scan or like a credentialless scan and a deep scan, we're going to head into LandSuper and kind of give you an, a preview or a small view of what it will look like and what the difference is between kind of a basic scan and a deep scan. Now here in LandSuper, first I'm gonna head over to the actual asset radar or credential-free device recognition uh, settings. So I'm gonna to go to scanning and then we have asset radar here. Um, where we're able to adjust a couple of options. So we're able to either select whether uh, the asset radar or current free device recognition will either only do logging or actually create assets as well. So that's kind of the difference, as I mentioned in a previous video, where asset radar can either just do logging only, where it just logs the information of the assets that it discovers, or it can pass it on to the deep scanning uh, technology where we're able to then try and scan the complete asset and get all the information it from. So that's kind of the difference right there. Now we're not able to see the number of devices or the devices that have been detected by Asset Radar here. So we're gonna switch over to the Land Super Classic web console where, here we go, we're able to see the complete list of all of the devices that have been detected by Asset Radar, um, as well as the details. So we're able to see, you know, obviously the MAC address, uh, the IP address, um, what kind of devices it are. Some of this information has already been enriched by the device catalog. Um, so that's why it's already added there. But we're probably able, also able to see information here on the other protocols um, that are added as well and that are scanned as well. Now, to actually give you a view of what does it look like, what's the difference between just doing a asset radar scan or just a basic scan, a credential free scan, and a deep scan, um, we'll select here one of these assets and then head back over to other interface to actually look up what that looks like. So here, back in our other sites, I'm going to look up that specific device that I just looked at. And we can see here that um, we do, obviously we have a scan issue because most likely it was not able to scan due to the fact that we do not have credentials for it. Um, but you can see here that it's quite basic. We know that it's a Windows. Uh, we know what version it has. Uh, we know that it's a virtual machine. So it's a virtual Windows um, of you know Windows 11 version. And that's pretty much it. We have the MAC address and IP address. Uh, obviously, thanks to our lifecycle information that we have within LandSuper, we're able to also know some lifecycle information there. But that's pretty much as far as it goes. If we go to software, um, you'll see obviously that's empty. Any other kind of hardware or software related information will all be empty. Um, so it, it really just comes down to, we have a basic understanding of what type of asset this is, and that's kind of where it stops. Now, if we go to something that has been scanned completely, um, I'm gonna go and head over to uh, my own device because I know that one has a good scan on it. There we go. We're able to see, obviously, you know, you immediately see the difference that there's a lot more information here. So aside from just the fact that we know, you know, manufacturer model, you know, version of the OS, those sort of things, we immediately already have a view in the summary of, you know, what kind of hardware is it running? We see how much RAM it has, what CPU it's running, how much room there is left on the disk. Um, we see network information on what kind of network information it has. Again, we have the lifecycle information here as well. Um, but more important than that, if we go over to the left-hand side here, if we go to software, obviously we have a complete overview of all the software installed, along with version, publisher, etc. We know what kind of uh, Windows-specific features are installed, license keys, antivirus, SQL Server information as well, if there's a SQL Server installed there. Um, and additionally, if you go to the config, 
menu there, you get all the details you might want. Um, so whether it be kind of certificates, I think if you scroll further down, there's also driver information here, um, PNP driver, system drivers, uh, those sort of things. Or if we go to hardware, if you want BIOS information, bus information, any kind of hardware information you might want on the device is here. And it continues on like that with peripherals, uh, displays, network specific information, disk specific information, user information. I can keep going on like that, but as you can see, the difference is quite significant. Um, now, to be completely transparent, obviously it depends on what kind of asset uh, you look at to whether the difference will be as large as this or a bit smaller. Um, but in general, the difference is quite significant in, in the data that you'll be able to retrieve with credentials versus something that you try and scan without credentials. So that covers kind of the main difference between credential-free device recognition and performing a real deep scan. Now, credential-free device recognition is something that automatically starts when you install LAM Super, and it's good to get that basic inventory, um, that basic discovery, but really, once you go beyond that, obviously, if you have it enabled, LAN Sweeper will try and do a deep scan. But the reason why you want to do a deep scan really is that you get all of that information, all the details, so that you can do the reporting on it and that you can use all that information to your benefit, whether you need you know, a, a report based on you know, how many monitors um, are attached to my devices, which users, you know, how many local administrators do I have in my network. Those are the kind of things that you cannot get just with a basic scan. You need to do a deep scan to really get the data to know how many local admins do I have, which Windows devices are out of date and don't have the latest patch installed. It's really for those use cases, you want to have that information on hand. Also to ensure that when you need it, you have it right away. When we think about vulnerabilities, um, as well as you know, the new security insights that we have in our, uh, in our product, if you do not have the deep scan data, we won't be able to tell you when you're vulnerable to a specific vulnerability because that is the data that we need in order to know whether you're vulnerable or not. So it goes a lot further than just having the data just to have it. It's really for specific use cases that you want that data on hand at all times. So with that, you can head over to the next videos to learn more.